Put these plastic plates up. What are you filming? It's their office. Put that camera out of my office for a start. It's not in your office. Get it away from my window. No. Why are you being so rude? Discussed uh, with my chief officer. Oh, was that uh, your? Yeah. It was my chief officer. Yeah. Um, so what he's told you is that obviously it's private land in here. If you have a legitimate reason to be in the port, eye. what uh, you've done is you've come now to a different building on this private land and started filming. So under section 77 of the Port of London Act, I'm going to give you a direction to leave or. <laughs> Welcome to another video! Now, what do we have here? What do we have here? Well, without yet even being sure to know how to get in there, it is Tilbury Docks! Yes, Tilbury Docks. So, uh, all of the lorries seem to be going down. Oh, no, they don't. They're coming down this way. So, let's go and find our way in and see how welcome we are. One minute later. So, yes. here we are. Welcome here to the port of Tilbury. Mm -hmm. It is a member of the fourth ports group. Uh, images are being recorded. No children are allowed in the port. Children might not to be left. The, uh, uh, images are being uh, proceed with extreme caution when entering. No smoking. Uh, CCTV recording. But as yet, no um, private property sign. I think they're bibbing to one another there. I don't think that's at me. My goodness me, look at this. And they've actually got their own police station here. Here's the first one, the ISPS uh, office. And uh, oh, these are just secure. I've seen these actually. I had seen these before. And these are security security outlets. How exciting! So much to see! My goodness! Polite notice, no, police notice. Uh, you'll be clamped if you try and park around here. I didn't think you'd be able to come in here like this. Vacancies there for drivers and subcontractors. Uh, there's good rates. It's look. Look at the size of these signs. The border force. Look at all this stuff coming in. Wow, look. Look at this. Look at this. Fantastic. Let's search along. Stuff. We're outside the World Trade Group office. Um, oh my God, we're going to get to Dark Side. This is the port. Oh what the hell? Look at that. Look at these gas on gas tanks. That was the netting must be there to stop it drifting away, granule by granule. But just everything about this place is is humongous. Small ship. It's on the move. But this is the uh, Port of Tilbury bulk terminal. But look at these Nippon gases. Do you know what? They're so big that I can't. I thought I was zoomed in too much, but it's not. It's just down to the fact. And in here is liquid carbon dioxide. Liquid carbon dioxide. Um, don't smoke. <laughs> Don't smoke near them. We're actually going to get to the police slope. We're actually going to get to the dark side. 
I'll be totally honest, I didn't uh, I didn't think look this railway lines is down, look this like tram lines or something. But we are actually going to get dockside. I didn't think. I really didn't think we would get to here. Look at all these things, look. I mean, oh my god. Look, it's like one of those uh, claws, you know, claw games down there, you know, in the arcades. Look at all the filth in the water. I mean, it's. Uh, you would not want to go swimming in there. I mean, there's so much to look at here. But I... Look at that, that's all scrap metal and stuff over there, look. Look, there's a queue of uh, lorries coming in for out with cement but you can see the sort of uh, stages there look oh my gosh I really didn't think we would get to the to the dock side but yeah you can see the different stages here you know, it comes in as uh, in the larger parts um, and then they break it down a bit. There's a guy down up there, look, he spotted me. Look at that claw. Wow. Incredible. Look at that, look, the thing over there. It's the, there's, you see all these uh, cement trucks? That are, that, are, that are topping up. I don't think that's a green idea. I think the grass is just naturally grown. I'm really mystified, to be honest with you, given that there are sensitive uh, parts of this site, no doubt. Uh, why there was so much commotion at the aggregate ports we went to yesterday. Yeah. It's like something from World of the Worlds, isn't it? Look at that, what the heck is that crane hoping to... to pull out of there? Loads of dust flying about. That just filled my eyes up, I can assure you. Another one coming. I think I'm getting uh, slowly but surely poisoned here by <laughs> I'm getting limed. That's actually a ship there on the other side there, I believe. I'm not sure. All pedestrians come down this way. We certainly shall. Look, this is like a humong... Everything's humongous about this site. Um... Um... Like a huge... Hello! It's a Samex site, you need your PP on to be on here. Okay, where does it say that? Well, it's, uh, basically it basically looks like a site. It's this all sort of working area. So yeah, this is be... the pedestrian part, isn't it? Yeah, it's pedestrian access on site. All right. Not pedestrian access for public. Oh. That's, that's who the pedestrians are, though, isn't it? Sorry? That's who the pedestrian... Where does that go down there? Basically, this is the Semex. Is it Semex, dead end? Yeah, it yeah. basically looks like it's a Semex site's pier. Yeah, So yeah. this is all, obviously, yeah, 
private land. Are public are allowed in this site, aren't they? Not on the site, no. Not on this site, but they're allowed in the dockyards. Oh, as far as I'm aware, you're allowed down there. You'd have to check with um, security, yeah. to be honest. But yeah. no, up here, this is all Semex and it's all... Everyone's got to wear PPE and, to be on that's, site. That's just the mixing station there, is it? Um, it's as far as I'm aware, it's just a, a yeah, place where yeah. we just collect products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no yeah. people are interested in uh, you know industrial units like that, so uh, it's uh, okay, fine, yeah, fine. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's just like I say, otherwise uh, they'll, they'll get really, um, they'll be, have to be really careful about people being on site. Uh, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. PPE. That's there. Yeah. Oh, don't yeah. mind making myself aware, you know, making you aware of myself, you know. But that's a dead end down there anyway, is it? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, so there you go, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it does say on there, look, it says some site safety rules to be wearing uh, eye protection, which is a good idea because my eyes just filled up with uh, crap. Uh, ear defenders, gloves, and uh, high vis. So, so that's the difference from uh, yeah, the other day. We, we are going to crack on because I'm absolutely certain that I'm going to get a costume. But from what he said, 100% true, isn't it? You are allowed on the site. Yes. All oh, right, okay. There's a guy over there shouting at me. I need to get on the walkway. Blocked, blocked by the police slope sign. Uh, a little bit silly, a little bit silly. No hassle as yet. Well. <laughs> Uh, he says, if we don't get it right, I won't be allowed in. I wasn't allowed in anyway. <laughs> Look at it, I'm not sure. Dusty. Extremely dusty. Indeed. In fact, I don't know how much more of that dust I could have taken, to be honest with you. It's already irritating my throat. <laughs> Look at this thing, look. Just look at this way bridge. Just everything is gargantuan, isn't it? Oh, they got a restaurant. The general public are welcome, it says there. So, we are within our rights here, guys. There's an unusual thing in, the, uh, in this country. All right, mate? More moments later. What that tells me, I'm staying to the pathway. Every lorry. Wish there was a pathway that side because every lorry is every time. Every lorry raises. here quite quite clearly on this pathway no entry so um i'm not going to push me luck too far just try and get a an image of uh site I, as best i can but fear not guys fear not because I do have the drone in my bag. Hope that uh, it's going to be fine. Now, let's go and visit the police. Well, the port of Tilbury, London, make your mind up. Port of Tilbury, London, a police station. Oh, look, they've got flashy. Flashy cars, look. Look. Tilbury, uh, the port of Tilbury, London Police, with the motto, Nick Modo Terra Fuit. Now, I know that Terra means uh, earth or ground, so I wonder what... Uh, 
Ah, it's just this way, huh? I want to have a look at this car, I'm afraid. Look at this. Look. I think I've ever seen one like that before. That's a one-off, isn't it? What's this, like some sort of car pound? that's all about oh hello um i just wondered if it's all right for me to go onto the site and have a look around just to make a film thank you okay. cheers thank you a oh, very polite lady a few moments later go. look they've got compressed gas in there look what's that all about anybody know uh but yeah a black vehicle Oh, my nose is a bit runny. I mean, goodness More me. More moments later. Again, Port Tilbury, please. There's that uh, Nick Modo Terra Fuit. Nick Modo Terra Fuit. Fuit. Is there anything else we've got? Some metal work flowers there. Beautiful. Idea what's going on here to be honest with you. What is that, a Lexus? It's a Lexus, isn't it? It's flash, isn't it? In but inside. Look, they've got sort of the wood panelling and stuff inside there, look. Good, isn't it? Just something straight, strange how it's is that 2017? Strange how that's faded so much, but then again, in this environment... Many months later... So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. I don't know what this uh, is going on here. The TV operates in line with the current UK legislation. Oh, look, at that. look at that. Another one. You know, there's a Victorian auditor, <laughs> Victorian auditor. Uh, that one there is a, a PLA. Uh, this is from Lady Ellerman, who was a very generous supporter of the PLA charity fund. Here's wartime, here's wartime. Um, is that guy on our side? He looks a bit like Michael Schumacher. Uh, look at that, look. Look at that. Look, and up there it says... It's up there, NF... N number 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 eight shed. Um, yeah, hello. Uh, just wondering if I could, if it's okay for me to go and have a look around the site and everything. Uh, unfortunately, so once you come through the main gate, this is private property. All right. Okay. So on this uh, bylaw seventy seven. Bylaw seventy seven. Right. I had to look for bylaw seventy seven. I couldn't um, find it. If you can, please let me know um, in the comments. Thank you under the Port of London Act of 1920, unless you've got a legitimate reason to be on the port. Well, I have, yeah, make a film. Well, it's not legitimate. Yeah. Okay. So I'm actually going to ask you to leave the port premises now. Okay, okay. yeah. Actually, under that Bible. Right, yeah, because I noticed there's a restaurant around that corner that said that... Yeah, so if you go around to the restaurant, yeah. then that's a legitimate reason, so uh -huh. you can make your way around there. Uh, okay, right, right. right. okay. But so make a film. Yeah, yeah, now I'm, I'm, I'm done now, sort of thing. I just took and a quick look so around. But... got an ongoing uh, incident at the minute I'm dealing with, so I'm not going to be able to uh, speak to you anymore. Any details? But I can't give you any details. <laughs> I'm going to give you that. So yeah. if you've got any specific questions for us, you can actually email the Port uh, Police Control Room there. I'll pass it to you. Also, I can't get through it. Yep. Uh, if anything you'd like to know about the Port, so we can answer your questions for you. Thank you. Uh, yep, so they said there's an ongoing incident, so there's something going on, but the visitors to the Port of Tilbury um, can go to that site. The visitors at two ships at um, pot, p o t l l dot com um, and what he's given me here is um, no children in the ports at all um, just a quick look at this from 2006 I tell you what I'm really hot 
I, I'm, yeah, I'm really hot, I'm sweating. Um, so unattended items, anything like that. Um, be on it. So, um, and there's just a, that little, some things never change today. Some things never change, but whatever it is, he's, he's finding it pretty funny. He's not, I don't think he is. What the hell is going He's still got his hat on, brilliant. Ha. Fantastic. And uh, that's the uh, Divisional Inspector Beach from 1916. My goodness, 1916. <gasps> wow. And that's one of the PLA police motorcyclists. Amazing. To make a film is not deemed legitimate reason um, and he's given me this uh, compliment slip I have this compliment slip where you can offer details I wonder if there is an incident on or whether that was just uh, to get rid of me I don't know but um, we're going to ask the security what they think one minute 37 seconds later Let's go and check these, uh, this fighter, but these plastic police out. Because I've seen these guys out on the street. It's, uh, people are either in the... No Hello, mate. Hello there. It right. How you doing? All right? Hello. Yeah, is it all right to film around here? What are you filming? Uh, around here. Not really, it's their office. Why not? Get the camera out of my office for a start. It's not in your office. Get it away from my window. No. And come to the front door and approach us properly. No, uh, don't be saying rude. Why are you being so rude? You're saying like, to get, to get it away from my window. Pardon? Well, so you want me to go to the front? It's not in your window. It's not your front door. Well, who's going to come to the front then if I go to the front door? I'll come to the front door and talk to you properly. All right. Right, so this guy here has uh, said to come to the front door. He's a bit, he's a bit rude. He's a bit cut. Oh, he just slammed the window shut. Get it out of my window. So this is going to be... Um... Oh, look at this. Look, they've... Uh... They've got a sort of ornamental garden feel to it. Look. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice, but it's... it's... I don't know why he was being so uh, so rude. Look, it's got, got the industrial support there. I like that. So is it here or or here? No, he doesn't want to come and speak to me. All I'm going to do is ask him if it's okay to fly a drone over and to film. Oh, is, is he in here? Nope, someone's coming. Uh. Yeah, I didn't think he were. He shut the window. He slammed the window shut after a... I came out and now he doesn't want to speak to me. But I've got the uh loads and loads of uh certificates up there. Oh I'm not sure if I can well I'll hopefully be able to pick that up later on. One debt to society later. But oh, I believe right. you just discussed uh, with my chief officer. Oh is that uh, your yeah it was my chief officer. Yeah. Um, so what he's told you is that obviously it's private land in here. If you have a legitimate reason to be in the port, i.e. going to the canteen, you're more than welcome to do yeah, so. Yeah. What uh, you've done is you've come now to a different building on this private land and started filming. So under Section 77 of the Port of London Act, I'm going to give you a direction to leave or you're more than welcome to go to the canteen and use their facilities. The restaurant. Yeah, you said about the restaurant. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so would you no. like to go to the restaurant? Or yeah, not? okay. What, what, um, what, 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 I can point out where the public area is. You can film as much as you like from out there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you no, like. it's just this chap here. I, I sort of saw him through the window and he said, can I come over? He said he was going to come out and have a, have a quick chat with me because I was going to fly a drone over. I don't know if, okay. it, if, if it's uh, under the, the I would have assist. to discuss that. If you're talking about drones, yep. I'm not up on the knowledge. You yeah. have to discuss Same here. with the chief officer. Yeah. But if you want to go to the public area, I can check with him. That's the, the legality. No I'll problem. Come back out and have a chat. No with problem. Him. I, right? You know, I've got absolutely no problems with the, uh, you know, the need for security at somewhere like this. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, you know, in fact, I'm a little, I'm a little surprised that I, you know, that, that uh, access is allowed. To be honest with you. 
Well, well, if you don't allow access, you've got no business. <laughs> true, so, true. Um, but but it's uh, an extremely large port. Um, yeah, the oldest port in the country. It I is. I saw the. Uh, I saw the, the the things inside the station. Brilliant. Yeah, I, I'm sure you've looked on Google Earth as well, and how, just how large it is, and you can see the amount of traffic we have coming in and out. I actually uh, on a on a daily basis. So ultimately, it is one of the busiest ports in the country. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's famous, isn't it? I, I'm amazed. I've never been here before, but it's yeah, ultimately, I came here for a different reason, and, and then I thought, oh, I'll go and have a look. Saw the big sign, and, I, and then I thought, well, can I go? In? But I went to the Perthly docks. All oh, right, yeah, I'll, I'll be and, honest with you, I'm, I've not ever been there. So. Yeah, and uh, I, I sectioned from 2004, I, I can't remember it from off the top of my head. Um, you, you're not allowed to uh, go onto that site at all. This, yeah, this is public? Uh, so it's actually oh. public from the phone box. However, right. I'm, I've got no issues with you filming here, so if you right. want to stand here, that's completely fine. I'm but the, the pool maintain the road from the phone box this way, um, yeah. and then after that, it's from the council. from the phone box there. Yeah, yeah. So this is the the, the, the post box and stuff. But obviously, the pool uh, tie in with the local government stuff, so they allow them to have the post box and stuff on there. There's phone boxes inside the pool as well that they allow there is. to use. Yeah. yeah. Um, but obviously, if you're going to use one of them, that's completely fine. Uh, but yeah, from that line from the phone boxes. It's basically private land, but I'm happy with you yeah, saying yeah, it. Yeah, so, so, so can we say in general, just for, for anybody who was sort of known, if they were to come up to, uh, you can see the guy there, where it says ISPS Pass Office, yep. there's a small pathway that runs through there. Yep. That's where the canteen, the restaurant is. Yeah, so basically there's two pathways, one yeah. uh, to the right of where you were standing, one yep. to the left where it says ISPS Office. So yep. both of those will go through yep. to another road, and on the right of there there's canteen. Right. Um, you can follow the main road round as well, walking round to the canteen. But as a general rule of thumb, other than that, there's no sort of good reason for public to no, come so in. No, so by legitimate reason, well, you have to have posts business within the pool. So, you know, these lorries are going to specific berths to get yep. loads. These could be workers coming in. They have to have ISPS passes. Postman. Car, which they show. Postman, yeah. delivery drivers, milkmen. Yeah. You know, general, general, you know what, so legitimate gen reason is to Yeah, a general rule of thumb, guys, is that uh, you're not to come in here unless, of course, there is that restaurant as the exception other than uh, if you have and, a as soon as you're filming the restaurant's amazing yeah it's right we'll hear amazing. that hear that well i might <laughs> pop in there actually for the dinner it's getting that time can, isn't it? i believe it shuts at two o'clock so if really? you want to go in there yeah i think they open again for dinner some days depending on where but you, you probably find it online so Fantastic. you know if people are on uh, youtube or whatever channel it yeah. is then uh, it, it, it's know. it's not a very uh, nice environment to be in dusty it's dusty it's quite it uh, depends on what the port are doing what business the port are doing at the moment you yeah. know in my, in my years here they've done everything uh, um, from sand and brick, which obviously creates dust, to containers which really aren't that messy. So um, there's a vast, vast array of things in it. But we have got an ongoing job, so I'm going to have to leave you. But it's been yeah. nice meeting you. Okay, and um, yep, thank you very much. Look at this, guys. Care. That's great. All right. You okay, so thank you. Right. Thank you very much. So uh, there's the uh, the Port of London Police Force, and um, he was quite uh, uh, amenable. Um, he'll go off and have a conversation with those uh, security morons. But uh, it's time now for me to check the drone assist. I'm not, I'm not that hopeful that it will be uh, okay. But if it is, we will. And if it isn't, we won't. But uh, if, the, if this is it, then that will be it. And stay safe, keep going, and peace. And then if not, then as always, focus on the... I used to think if I couldn't find hope, I should just let it all go. I used to think if I couldn't make dreams come true, I should just let them all go.